Tequila. 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 I, I didn't know she was still alive, personally. She got that hair on my arm. Look at why it's so skinny like that. <laughs> what kind of drug she on? Go ahead. You heard what she had to say about black women and um being bald headed. Let's we got some we got some we got some audio. We this is let me tell you, soulmates, this show will not end well. No. Play the footage, please. We got audio? We gonna play it? Are we not playing it? Oh, we don't have it. Uh-uh. Oh, we, we, oh, we have can't it. play. We can't play. Oh, we, oh, we can't play. Basically, Tila Tequila said that black women are cursed to be bald headed because basically our crown is our glory, and we somehow are cursed because we ain't the, the chosen one. Some nonsense she was saying about black women. All that black cock that she done took. All right. them black sons she done had from black women. I remember right. when she was in parties in San Diego, allegedly. High off of whatever, allegedly messing with a football player. She tried to sue and they dropped that case. And um, I, I Googled Tila Tequila and everything that comes up about her drug overdose, um, lost against uh, Sean Merriman, uh, drugs dismissed, drug case, uh, brain aneurysm. When I Googled her, it says, Does Tila Tequila have brain damage? Like, is something wrong with her? Um, she's a real, this is what they say. This is when you Google her, Tila Tequila, reality star turned, uh, Put your glasses. Oh, I'm sorry. To, I know. Let me try. I'm trying to be cute for y'all, but I guess it don't matter. They said from the sex tapes to the fake suicide attempts, claims of satanic possession. Um, just, she just has a lot of nerve to come for black women. When I know all them black peens that came from black mamas was up inside of you. Okay, so don't you dare fix your little squishy ass mouth to come for black women. Okay, talking about our hair and wear balls and all this. Uh, uh, ball wear, ball. Yeah, I got a couple clips, but balls wear. And and I don't know if you just missed the attention because no one's offered you a show in a long time, so you have to go and say something. And I don't know why people always think they got to come for black women to go ahead and get that attention, but to say they make this blanket statement about a whole demographic of people that you emulate, quite frankly, is a good way to get hands on you from someone. Not me, cause I'm old, but I'm just saying like, I don't understand why you came for black women. And then she tried to throw the Lord in there. Did y'all hear the rant? Yeah, right. I, I think the thing that got me the most was the biblical uh, reference that she made. She basically was saying that she was better than all black women cause black women didn't have hair. And the Lord made it that way because black women weren't deserving, didn't deserve to have hair because having hair made you the ultimate queen. That to me really just just hit me the wrong way. Now, I remember Tila Tequila, and I think most people do in my age group. She was the Kim Kardashian of MySpace. She was the most popular young lady on MySpace with the most followers. And that's what speared her off to have her own reality show. But like Claudia said, how can you dare talk about a Black woman when you couldn't get enough of Ray J? You couldn't get enough of the game. You couldn't get enough of Andre 3000. You couldn't get enough of the football players. They all came from a black woman, sweetheart. So in my mind, I'm just going to say one of the same reasons she got thrown off of uh, Celebrity Big Brother is one of the same reasons we should cancel her ass right now. I'm here to tell y'all, after looking at the rant, black women out there, please don't let this woman upset y'all. Forgive her because she for not, she not know what she say. Um, I think them drugs don't went to her brain because she was in there talking and then trying to read the scripture and she couldn't even she couldn't even pronounce the word traction alopecia. OK, so I'd be damned if I let a bitch who can't even pronounce alopecia get my blood pressure to boil it. Um, you know, for me, what was even bigger than Tila Tequila was the the how much of a religious fanatic she was in that moment. And it just really made me think about the brainwashing power of religion or when people take on an ideology and believe something in in, in the way that they can contort the word and twist it to fit whatever bias, hate, or whatever that they want to spit. Because let's not act as if 
that same scripture was not twist in turn to justify us being enslaved. Black folks use that same scripture to justify, you know, hating homosexual people. It's just funny how people can take what was honestly and truthfully created out of love. Like God is one thing and that's love. That's where it starts and stops. And it don't take no scripture to understand that and how people can take what essentially is a book of love and contort it to fit what it is they feel in their nasty ass soul. Which is hate. And, and we're going to break right now. And the audacity of this woman who at one point claimed to be a devil worshiper, satanic worshiping, to now go ahead and use the Bible. Um, tequila, 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 you can kiss my black ass. How about that? We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more TGIF. I got the commercial. Yeah, black ass. <laughs> <laughs>